nabbed from a Toronto driveway, how does a stolen SUV wind up all the way here? This one found in a used car lot on another continent. We're not talking about just, you know, vehicle theft. It's organized crime, well-financed, highest level. How many pictures and documents do you have from this whole thing? Honestly, we have dozens of screenshots. Amazingly, the owner tracked his truck the whole way, compiling images, maps, and evidence, even hiring a private investigator and not getting much help from police. How surprised have people been when you show them this level of evidence and detail they, the whole the whole way through? Yeah, they they think I'm sort of certifiably crazy, which is fair, but I, I want I want my truck back. Last August 7th, a 2022 GMC Yukon XL like this one is parked in the driveway in this East Toronto neighborhood. The owner, Andrew, found the steering wheel bent with that lock still in place, a sign criminals had dropped in trying to steal it once, and they were about to return again. We have dinner, we come back out at 9.15, and the truck was gone. What went through your mind? Not again, because that was the second truck that had been stolen from our, from our driveway. You heard right, it's the second truck he's had stolen. We've agreed to conceal Andrew's full name and address. His family fears reprisals for fighting back against organized crime. Luckily, in that Yukon, he had stashed two Apple AirTags, or tiny tracking devices. So he watched as it pinged in different locations across the greater Toronto area, and then stopped in a rail yard north of here. The massive Canadian Pacific Terminal in Vaughan handles about 1,800 containers each day. With cargo loaded onto trucks and trains, not every shipment gets a thorough verification, potentially giving organized crime a passageway to move stolen vehicles. This is where Andrew pinpointed his truck, the AirTag sending its location at the rail yard. So he called York Regional Police and wound up texting with an officer who drove right in. Police even sent him this picture, saying the SUV is definitely in one of those containers. It felt like a victory, finally. I said, officer, you must be right there. He's like, well, here's a picture. This is what I'm looking at right now. I said, fantastic, you did it. Go, go get the truck. And he said, I can't. You have to call the CP Rail Police. It's their jurisdiction. And how helpful were they? They were not. And so off it went. His GMC Yukon agonizingly close, but moving further and further away. Pinging next on August 11th in a rail yard in Smith's Falls in Eastern Ontario. Then three days later in Montreal. At one of Canada's largest shipping ports and what's become a major destination for exporting stolen cars. Again, Andrew says he contacted local police, but they were hardly helpful. You know where your vehicle is. Yeah. How frustrating is it when you realize there's nothing you can do? I think that's the pinnacle of the frustration is knowing that it's still here, but it's about to disappear. The AirTag went offline for more than three weeks as a cargo ship crossed the Atlantic carrying the SUV in a container. It shows up again September 6th in the port of Antwerp, Belgium, finally traveling later that month to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates, 11,000 kilometers from Toronto. Thanks for coming. David Adams is president of Global Automakers of Canada, a group representing big foreign-based car companies. Some of these routes are well known, so why not take a more focused look at, uh, at those shipments? Authorities are indeed seeking to crack down on that route to the UAE, with Ontario police last March intercepting 24 vehicles being sent to Dubai. Just weeks earlier, officers said they busted a criminal syndicate and recovered dozens of vehicles in containers bound for the UAE and Africa. Adams wants to see more action from the federal government and the Border Services Agency to curb that trend. We're very concerned about drugs and guns coming into the country, but the missing piece is that the export of stolen vehicles is actually financing a lot of those drugs and guns that are coming into the country. So we need to be concerned about what's exiting the country as well. Remember seeing that SUV parked in Toronto? 
Here's Andrew's Yukon in the UAE in a used car lot lined up next to other North American style GMC and Chevrolet trucks for sale. The picture sent to Andrew by a private investigator he hired. This close up showing the vehicle identification number as proof that one is his. So how common is this? We asked Ontario Provincial Police Detective Inspector Scott Wade, Deputy Director of an Auto Theft Task Force. The route of um, starting in a rail yard or a containerized lot and then being globally exported to countries in the Middle East, Northern Africa, Europe is, is quite common. It's uh, alarmingly common. Right now they're making so much money shipping cars overseas that the low risk and the high reward is just uh, too lucrative for organized crime. He was never able to get it back. Um, what are the circumstances in which police can't intervene? Um, that would be unusual. I can say that if we know it's at a container lot or a container yard or the uh, ports of Montreal, we'll make every effort to uh, obtain it and get it back. How confident are you that in 2024 you'll be able to curb this issue? I can tell you that the efforts and the partnerships that we have are going to have an incredible impact. I'm not going to claim 2024 is going to see a, a dramatic decrease, um, but I certainly hope that. As for Andrew's Yukon, we found one listed for sale online with striking similarities down to the same mileage. Made to Canadian specifications, it says. Available in the UAE for roughly $80,000. Andrew is still fighting to get his back. You've gone through a lot yep. so far. It's not done yet. What message are you trying to send or what's the goal at the end of the day here? I think the big takeaway is it's, it's not acceptable. One truck gone, that stinks. Uh, the second truck is a violation. You read in the news every day that there's more and more cars being stolen. You know, gotta do something.